Hello and welcome to another Craig and Dave Unscripted. Hi students, how are you? It's uh, getting to crunch time, isn't it? So uh, hopefully you're not feeling too stressed, you're feeling nice and prepared, but as always we're here and we're giving you some nicer uh, bits as you head towards your exams and you know, take, be prepared, you're going to be absolutely great. If you're seeing us for the first time, by the way, uh, students, uh, I'm Craig and this is, I always do that wrong, this is Dave. Yeah, I'm Craig. I love that. You say, how are you? And you know full well, they are stressed out right now if they're in the year 11 or 13. They might not be. They might be nice and chilled. No, no I wasn't chilled. <laughs> if you don't know us, we're both Craig and Dave. We're uh, computer science te been teaching for many years. And if you found our channel, then you uh, are probably aware that we do a range of videos for all the major exam boards at GCSE and A-level. We cover the entire specification exactly what you need to know and they're all completely free for you so hopefully this isn't the first time you're finding this but if it is welcome one of the things we really love doing on here and one thing we emphasize every time we do one of these videos is we love doing student shout out so one of the nicest things is when students write to us and say you know we're coming to the end of the year and we really enjoyed being taught by this teacher could you give them a shout out or this teacher's retiring and it's such a shame we really enjoyed them I and mean, we had another couple of lovely ones and we'll tell you just uh, afterwards how you can get in contact with us if you want to send us a shout out we kind of do these videos to choose us about once a month so please bear that in mind we can't often deliver your shout out immediately uh but send us the uh, send us the information we'll try so we've got two great ones i'll do the first one dave if that's right uh, the first one, excuse me, just reading something up here, is to Mr. Virtual at uh, VIAT, VIAT School of Science and Technology in Maidstone, and it's from your classes. Mr. Virtual is retiring after three years of inspiring us. I, I got a funny feeling you've been teaching for a lot longer than three years, Mr. Virtual, but three years of inspiring these classes in particular, it would mean a lot to recognise his contributions and the impact he has made on our learning. He has been a brilliant teacher. Always, always encouraging us to think critically and creatively. We love that. His passion for computer science has truly made a difference to education. And I know many of us will carry the skills and knowledge he shared with us into the future. Wow. Well, it's not the easiest profession teaching, but whenever I had a hard day or a stressful moment, it was, it was messages like that that often came from students and their parents that made me think, I'm glad I took this. And uh, you may be retiring and that will be a loss to the profession. Take that with you. I mean, uh, there's no better compliment, really, is there, than one from your students. Absolutely right. So here comes another one. This is, <laughs> um, this is the born uh, at Queen Mary's High School from Saida. So uh, they write, um, I've had Mr. Born for GCSE and A-levels and he's always shown us your videos in class. Yay! <laughs> It really helps us with our understanding. Well, we're glad to hear that. Uh, I thought it would be nice to have a message from you as a present to him since we're leaving school soon. So I guess that's either year 11 or year 13. But that's Mr. Vaughan at Queen Mary's High School from Saida. You are making a difference too. No, oh, well, I'm not retiring, so but I'll buy the looks of that. So we'll carry on making a difference. Well, look, we've alluded to it already at the start of the video. Yes. A lot of you may be stressed. Exams are, are around the corner. Uh, but as always, you know, we are here to help and support you, obviously, as are your teachers. Uh, you are probably aware, if not, as we've said about our YouTube videos. Uh, but what a lot of people don't realise is as well as the spec point specific videos that cover your entire, uh, cover your entire course, everything you need to know for the exam, we do have, and they can be hidden away a little bit. So Dave's going to show you how to get to them. Uh, we do have in there some just generic um, exam technique videos. And although I originally wrote them for all of it, AQA, Excel, or the other, I don't know how students will get to those because we've got so many videos on our YouTube channel. It, it, <laughs> they are a little bit hidden now. Yeah, absolutely. So this is the playlist that Craig's talking to, uh, talking about, sorry, on our YouTube uh, channel. So we've got four videos there. The easiest way to find them is to just do a search for um, exam technique. You see lots of people are doing exam technique videos on YouTube. They put Craig and Dave at the end there. 
And when you do a search, you're going to find out our videos here. They won't necessarily come out in order, not that that's hugely important. Yeah, the playlist, whoops, <laughs> that is the playlist that you are looking for. Yeah. Okay, so the uh, worth giving a little bit of advice then, um, Craig, about how students can be prepared now, given that they've probably got less than a month until their first exam. So my initial bit of advice would be to say, don't panic and don't give up, okay? Yeah. The moment you give up is the moment that you're, it's never too late, even the day before the exam, doing difference. So if you haven't done a lot of revision um, up till now, Stressed about it and you think that it's enormous and how can you possibly succeed from this point don't okay you can still do your best it's not too late if you've been using smart revise that's fantastic the longer you've been using smart revise to pick up smart revise now and you expect it to make a difference it probably won't it will make some difference but i would not ask it okay Smart Revise is a great tool, but it's about the long, slow burn. So at this point in time, do not just be using Smart Revise, okay? Yeah. My advice would be, and if you haven't got Smart Revise, it, it, it doesn't matter, okay? My advice right now would be to focus on those classic revision techniques that can make a difference. So I'm going to outline a few, and then um, Craig um, I'm sure you've got something to add as well. So the first thing I would do is work out how long you actually have got left. So have a look at when the exams are, either GCSE or A-level, and then track back from there on a calendar how many days have you actually got, and then commit to a revision timetable, making a slot every single day for revising something. Now, what an effective revision timetable would look like and how you should approach it and all that, well, that really is a content for another video, to be perfectly honest. Get your teacher's advice if you uh, if you need help with that. But essentially, what I'm saying is have a plan and commit to it from this point forward. Some of you will have been doing that for a long time now and you've had this revision plan in operation for a couple of months, and that's fantastic. Maybe you started with good intentions and you've... Uh, kind of lost your way a little bit, lost a bit of motivation as the enormity and the stress has uh, has built up. Now is the time to pick that back up again and uh, double down. Okay, That's the first thing I would say. The second thing I would say is focus on the techniques that make the biggest difference. So for me, that would be past papers. Make sure that you can get the past papers from your teachers because not all the past papers are published on exam board website to access more Get them in hard copy if you can. If you're able to print them um, or you're able to take them to a printer's, whatever, try and get them in hard copy if you can. And you really want several copies of them so that you can practice them again and again. Practice writing with a pen on a piece of paper, on the lines on the, on the paper, and try and time yourself. You don't necessarily have to do the whole paper. You could just pick a couple of questions to do. Maybe a 20-minute stint is actually much better than trip room one go. And you know, in that time, time yourself, you know, um, having phones and things is a bit of a distraction at this point. But if you're simply using it as an, as an alarm and a stopwatch, that's absolutely fine. Um, but, you know, a, a, another classic. Practice your past papers is what I'm saying. Be realistic. Look at the mark scheme as you did and be honest and realistic with yourself and have another go at the same question until you can get more marks. That would be my advice. Absolutely critical. If you've got Smart Advice, you can do that with our advanced mode in Smart Advice, but I wouldn't rely on that 100%. The broad range of questions that you're going to get, you can never have too many practice questions. So focus on the past papers. The next thing that I would say would be mind mapping. Okay, so pick a topic. Let me pick one off the top of my head, operating systems. Put that in the middle and then try and remember everything you can about operating systems. Start with the keywords. What are the keywords with operating systems or what are the key functions of the operating system um, around the word operating system in the middle? And then branch out from there and think about, OK, this is what the operating system does. One of the things it does is manage the memory, for example. 
what does that mean? What examples can trigger things like virtual memory and what that means and what effect that has on the computer and some of the pro Use some very basic mind mapping techniques as memory readers. Do those as much as you can. What a lot of people do, and it's there just for kind of passive reference. The problem with that is it is remember some things, you won't remember everything. And it's far better for you to just try and recreate those mind maps several and then look at the things that you've you've got missing. You know, revision guides are great for that, our videos are great for that, smart revised terms is great for that. But try and identify and focus on those things to help memory retention. So for me, those are my three big tips. So a plan and Use past papers and be realistic with the mark schemes and use mind mapping to some active recall practice. Do you put into that? Sort of uh, different to what Dave said, but just, just add to it, uh, sort of a different vein. Um, I think firstly, say when you are doing that revision plan, just be realistic with yourself. It's very easy when you're doing the plan, you're very eager because you do the revision, you're the most keen at that point. Yet the rest, it's very easy to fall off the revision plan. So, you know, don't one day be sensible revision plan if you know there's some commitments oh we've got a family day out there or i'm going to give myself sunday off to complete to meet friends i'm in the afternoon each day plan in some breaks into revision session you're much more likely to stick to it if you don't overload it and cram it even if you've left it till now of being sensible and real realistic when you plan your vision out as opposed to overloading it and then not being able to stick to it the second thing i would say what uh e and this is much worse for the situation it is the day to revise. <laughs> Be wary of social media. That phone it for uh, just keeping a timer of where you are. I'm going to do 30 minute chunks and take a screen break. That's fine. But please try, try and be disciplined. You know, turn that phone over uh, because social media is awful. You'll, you'll, you'll be heading down Snapchat and Instagram and Messenger and before you know it. And on that line, as tempting as it is to revise with friends, if you do have some dedicated team as well and you work well, that's okay. But the work is done than if you can commit to doing it on yourself. And that's because we're social people. We're all the same. You end up getting distracted. You've got the same thing as social media. I'm not saying don't revise with your friends. If you've got a revision, a great revision part and you work well together, then that's kind of all yourself. And you end up realizing you've done very little revision. Take this. Believe it or not, you're revised a goodly kid at revising the stuff they already know well. And that is because you get a sense of achievement. I know this. I'm going to revise it. I know that. But of course, the best benefit is revising the areas your weakest at, because that's where you have the biggest potential gains. If you're sitting there thinking, I don't know what I'm weakest at, that's one of my problems, then do what Dave said. Grab yourself a past paper and go through it from start to finish. It will very quickly reveal itself just by doing that exercise. There may be entire questions simply skip well there's a keep it when you're doing the mock paper when you get to the exam you're going to skip it and get naught marks you'll come back and go there's four or five questions i just skipped start your revision there and if there's others you do really well but that's an indication if you're a smart revised user and especially if you've been using our tool for a while our system will do that for you so let's say you're in year 11 or 13 and you've been using it all year or maybe since the start of your course last year just pop into your course and smart revise click on the student revision report, have a scroll down, it will become instantly obvious where your stronger and weaker areas are. So focus on revising the stuff that's hard, not the stuff that's easy, because that's where you get the biggest marks. Be wary of social media and be, be, be disciplined if you're going to revise with friends and whatever the first one was that I can't remember. Be honest, be, be honest with yourself when you're doing your revision timetable. Don't be afraid to uh, yeah, pop in there some breaks and some downtime. That's my three little bits of advice. Um, from there, we've, we, uh, we've got some other bits and pieces we've, we've been doing. Uh, if you've been following this series, you will know that we have been updating our AQA video playlist for A-level students, Year 12s and 13s of AQA. Uh, I think that's up to SLR 14 now, so we're well over halfway through. These are the latest, newest versions. Apologies to Year 13 students that all the newest videos aren't out there for your exam. All the old videos are correct. They're all correct. They're all relevant. It's all there. They're just not up to the, the, the modern high quality standard you now expect from us. If you're in year 12, we're carrying on rolling those out. We'll carry on rolling those out term and the summer holiday. So I imagine by the time you get back in year 13, it will virtually all be done and it will definitely be done sort of early on in year 13. But yeah, we're going to continue to roll out our brand new remastered version of the AQA videos as we move forward. Dave, yeah. I'm update. Sorry, go on, Dave. 
I was just going to say, um, we are getting some communication from some students, particularly in year 13, uh, studying the AQA, saying, um, oh, you know, I really needed the remastered videos for my revision. Well, I've got two things to say about that. The first is, as Craig says, I just want to double down on the fact that there is nothing wrong with the content in the old videos. The content is sound. It's just the production value is very low because we recorded them years ago. So all we're doing with the remastered is really putting a little bit of polish on it and upping the production quality. In terms of the content itself, um, it's all still sound. So you don't need the remastered videos for your revision, okay? The second thing is that if you are just relying on the videos for your revision, you're going wrong. Watching videos is a passive revision technique. It will not have a lot of impact. What you need to be doing is the active techniques that I've already described. And if you're using the videos to help check things like a mind map and see the things that you've missed, that's fine. But don't just simply watch videos as a way of revising. It will not help. No, that's 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 valid, right? And finally, as well, we continue by we, I mean our our other Dave in the company. We continue to roll out our knowledge bite series. So uh, if you've been following us for a while, you'll be aware that uh, this 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 cheeky chappy here, Dave Morgan, uh, delivers our knowledge bite videos, and they continue to receive, I think, weekly updates, isn't it, Dave? Yeah, they're weekly uh, shorts focusing on um, something interesting uh, and relevant in computer science, sometimes slightly outside of the specification to keep things um, interesting. But this really is to give you uh, continual content um, on our channel. And yes, this is um, uh, Younger Dave. <laughs> Uh, um, the lesson hacker, absolutely. Uh, we, pe people are getting a little bit confused. They're like, uh, is that really Dave? It's like, I'm OG Dave. I am the Dave from Craig and Dave. And this is um, another Dave, a uh, younger Dave, who uh, uh, helps us with some uh, content creation. Absolutely. You can't have too many Daves, right? It's Craig and Dave, but which Dave? Well, you right, don't know. On. We're in a super position. <laughs> oh dear, here we go. Right, I feel we're mapping up this video. So look, whether you're year 10, 11, 12 or 13, thank you for being on our channel. Thank you for following. Thank you for watching us. Particularly if you're in 11, 13, we know this is a, a crunch period. A lot of you may be under stress. Don't forget, it'll all be worth it, okay? So take our advice, listen to your teachers, face that revision. Completely free out of the kindness of their heart, but that's not the reason. It won't be long, you know, a couple of months.